What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about the basic navigation and viewing in Navisworks 2025. Okay, so it can be used in Navisworks Manage, Navisworks Simulate, and Navisworks Freedom. So it's the general or the standard basic navigation and viewing of Navisworks. Okay, so now that we have learned from previous video how to append our model, so, all right, so let us do some navigation. So first thing is orbit. Okay, so to use the orbit, you just need to hold the shift and then hold the middle mouse button and then hold and drag your mouse. Okay, just like that. Okay, or you can also pick an element by uh, clicking your left click. So when you click, and then you can use that as your pivot when you orbit your model. So after you click, you can hold your shift again and then hold the middle mouse button and then drag your mouse. So that will serve as the pivot or pivot or however you want to pronounce it to rotate or orbit your model. Okay, so like for example, you want that element there. So you just click that and then hold shift middle mouse button and then hold the mouse drag it okay and then you can also zoom so just need to scroll the mouse wheel okay so just like that just like that okay so zoom in zoom out and then again you can use your orbit click and then you can orbit your model like that Okay, so another is panning your drawing. So you just need to hold the middle mouse button so to pan your drawing. So zoom in, zoom out, and then pan. Okay, and then orbit. Okay. All right. So you can you will also notice that our view here is in perspective view. So there is a vanishing point there okay so it's in perspective view so if you want this to be orthographic view so you can right click the view cube and then you can select orthographic so currently it's perspective so you can select orthographic click that and there you go so it's now in orthographic view okay if ever you don't have your view cube here you can always go to the view tab and then click the view cube to turn on and turn off your view cube all right so another navigation tools that you can use is your navigation bar okay so by default your navigation bar is turned on and it's located to this part of your drawing area or model area so you can click the navigation bar there in case it's hidden and there you go so there's your navigation uh, bar Okay, so you have here the full navigation wheel, another tool to navigate your model. So you can click that. So I'm just going to change my view again to perspective view like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use full navigation wheel. So let's click that one. And then I can also use the zoom here. So you just hold your left click into, into, into that zoom part. Okay, and then you can uh, move your mouse. You can also orbit. So there's orbit, that one. So just hold your left click and then you'll be able to orbit. What else? You can also rewind. Rewind from the previous uh, views that you have. Rewind tool. Okay, so you also have pan. So you can, in case your mouse don't have the ability to pan so you can use your navigation wheel to pan so just hold your left click on the pan area and then you can now pan your drawing and then what else so you can also select center so set the zoom and orbit center there you go so that's now your center so when you orbit so that's now your orbit pivot all right so let's say you want to concentrate this area so you can go there and then click center there you go so that's your center and then you can now orbit your model another is uh look uh let's say i'll just pan my drawing and then i'm going to use uh, before look i'll just use walk 
Okay, so I'm going to click and drag in the direction you want to walk. So hold your left click and then move slowly your mouse forward and then it will start to walk. So you can go to this side here, you can go to this side here, and then you can also pan your model like that. And then you can start walking again. Okay, it's just, it takes practice to perfect your walk tool. And then you can also look around. So look around. So it's like you are standing and then looking around your design and then walking. So let's walk. Okay, so walk tool. And then you can use up and down. So that one, you want to go to bottom, you want to go up. And then you can look around again. Look around the design. Okay. And then after that, you can use the walk tool. Okay, so that's your navigation wheel. So I'm going to close that one. So what's the other one? So there's the pan tool as well. As well. So you can click that. And then you see your, your pointer becomes a hand. So you can use that to pan your drawing as well. So you have multiple ways to pan your drawing. So this one is zoom window. So let's say I'm going to zoom out like that. And then I'm going to orbit. So I'm going to use zoom window so i'm going to click that so let's say i want to zoom into this area here so i'm going to pick my first point and then my second point here there you go so that's zoom window so you can concentrate on that area so let's say here zoom window there you go okay what else so you also have here orbit so we know that already so you can click click that so that's another way to orbit your model the other one is look around, click that, look around, and then walk tool, and then what else? Select, okay? So basically, that's your navigation wheel. So again, if ever your navigation wheel is closed and then you want that to be turned on again, just go to your view tab and then look for navigation bar. All right, so let's say, for example, I want to save my default view, okay? So here on my nav on my view cube, if you click that home icon, it will go to your default 3D view, right? So let's say I want to change that one. I want I want this view. Okay? So I want this view. By the way, after you select an object, just escape, all right? So that it will reset your selection tree, okay? All right, so let's say this is now the view that I want. Okay, so I want to save this view as my default home view. So to do that, just go to your view cube and then right click any part of the view cube and then look for set current view as home. Okay, the shortcut is control shift home or just click this option. So click that one. There you go. So it's now your default home view. So if ever you change your view like that, Okay, and then you want to go back, just click that again, home view, and it will now show you your default home view. Okay, so let's say what I want to do is I want to save a certain view that I want to uh, go back again after I change to another view. Okay, so let's say I'm going to use the walk tool. So let me just go to my walk tool, which is this one. So I want to go inside. Okay. All right, oops. So walk. Hang on, <laughs> I mess up the view. All right, so I'm just going to change my, I'll just go here. Okay, I want to go inside that room, so I use the walk tool. Okay, and then I'll use look around. I'm going to pan my drawing. 
I'll just walk inside. Okay. Look around. And okay, so let's say this is the view that I want. Okay, so to save the view, what you can do is you can go to your uh, viewpoint. And then there's a tool here that's called view, Save Viewpoint. Okay, so one thing that I want to do is I'll go to the View tab and then look for the windows here. So you can see the selection tree is checked because this is my selection tree. So what I want to do is I want to turn on the saved viewpoints window. So I'm going to click that and then here's my save viewpoint. So I want to save this viewpoint. So I'll just need to go to the viewpoint and then click this button here. So click that and then it will now save my viewpoint. So I can save this. You can put a name. So let's say this is my, for example, this is a cafeteria. And then enter. Okay. So if I go to my default 3D view, which is this one here. And then I want to go to the cafeteria. So I just need to go to my save viewpoints. Very simple. Just click that. There you go. Okay. So you will be able to create several views that you want by saving a viewpoint. Okay, so let's say uh, this one here. Okay, I want to highlight this equipment. I'm going to zoom in. So I want to save a viewpoint. So aside from clicking save viewpoint here, you can also right click here on the viewpoint. So right click and then you can select save viewpoint. There you go. And then you can click uh, mechanical equipment okay enter so i now have the cafeteria view and then i now have the mechanical equipment all right so basically very simple that's how you navigate your your view and that's how you save your view so you can also go to your viewpoint tab and then here you can see the tools that we have used a while ago so we have the steering wheel span zoom window orbit walk look around realism uh, navigate okay right so that's it for this uh, simple exercise so you just need to uh, familiarize yourself with this tool so that you'll be able to navigate your Navisworks model easily okay so thank you for watching have a nice day